Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, here's what's gonna go down. I am feeling the Christmas spirit. I want to purge through some of the things that I have in my December daily Christmassy themed stationery bag and chit chat. So it probably is going to be a long video. I'm gonna talk about December daily plans uh, we're gonna declutter and we're gonna talk about how I feel about this uh, stationary community, how I really feel about it because it's just kind of been weighing on me for a long time. And uh, so I'm gonna start off with my first point, uh, which is uh, if you don't like Christmas, if you don't like people talking about Christmas early, don't watch the video. Uh, if you don't like chit chat videos, don't watch the video. If you don't like decluttering videos, don't watch the video. Uh, there's no need to dislike the video. I've been noticing an uptick in dislikes. It's never bothered me in the past, but it seems that as my channel grows a little bit more, the dislikes have been showing up. And I'm not really into that. I don't like the negativity that social media has really started to spread so much. It's been seeping into the journal community so much. Which brings me to my first point on top of that is the like defensiveness that I'm starting to feel. Like I always have to put disclaimers out there. And what I'm about to share with you is how I feel, but I'm a human and I'm entitled to my own opinions. So if you feel the need to have to make rude comments or something, um, don't. Don't do it. You know, we don't have time for that. I'm going to declutter, uh, declutter and I've got my basket as usual. If you've watched my declutter videos, I'm just going to throw stuff in there. Um, this tote has kind of just, or this pouch has been kind of where I just put all my Christmassy things in. I'm not going to really give you reasons for things um, or where I got things. I'm probably going to do a separate video of like what I'll be using for December daily. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out and just deciding whether I'm going to keep it or not. A lot of it's just stuff I've been accumulating for a while. Some of it's just things that I know I'm not going to be using. And we're going to go from there. Um, so back to social media. Social media has gotten a little too much. If you live in the U.S., you understand there has been a lot going on. Social upheaval, election, violence. There has just been so much and it's just very overwhelming. And then on top of that is a lot of I don't know, just negativity. I maybe not like outright negativity, but there just seems to be kind of like this keeping up with the Joneses mentality. If you don't buy certain things, you're not really part of the club. And if you don't buy certain things, you can't participate in certain conversations. So in a way, you're kind of left out. And for the longest time, I've been feeling like I'm the black sheep of the stationary community because it's, you know, I talk about stationary minimalism. I didn't intend to make it a thing. It just started to become something that grew out of the fact that I was hoarding a bunch of supplies and things that I wasn't going to use. And then, you know, in a way, I, I saw the money value build up of, you know, this is what I spent my money on and I'm not even using it. I'm just letting it sit there gathering dust. 
So there's a sense of, I need to collect. I need to keep up in order to feel like I'm a part of something. There is the, a lot of collecting for the sake of collecting. And sake of collecting for the sake of like now I'm, you know, a part of the group if I have this stuff. And there's a lot of hype built up around a lot of things. So when you get caught up in it, you, you know, you have friends who are buying things and then you get excited and then there you go. You end up ending, spending so much money on something and then you spend the rest of the year struggling to figure out what you're going to do with all of that stuff. Ah, it's just gotten a little too complicated. I mean, when did journaling become so complicated? Do you know what I mean? Like, why do we need 15 planners? I mean, you only have one life. You can only have a planner for so many things. When you're compartmentalizing that granularly, it just feels like you're kind of setting yourself up for fa failure because at some point you're going to realize, oh wait, something didn't work. And then you wonder why it didn't work or why I'm dissatisfied with this planner or this journal. Or you hear a lot of people say, I hear a lot of people say, I can't finish this journal. I can't finish this planner. And then they move on and they constantly try something new. There's a constancy of trying new things because you see somebody else do it. And I'm not saying that it's wrong to try new things, but I feel like it's wrong to try new things blindly. You should really try things that you think you will enjoy, that will work for you. You know, there has to be some sort of like research, right? Like, is it going to fit your lifestyle? Um, okay, I'm gonna keep all of this. Um, so there's a lot of that and a lot of, I'm trying to like gather my thoughts and I'm not going to be as articulate as I want to be in describing how I feel because it's complicated because I really enjoy sharing, but sometimes I feel like I'm oversharing. Or I'm not sharing enough because being on social media kind of is in its own way like a popularity contest you know you want the likes you want your video shared you want the views um but at the same time my subject matter stationary minimalism which has kind of become my thing i guess um is not as popular of a subject matter and so there's the end of that and i'm okay with that in a way i mean that's cool i i wasn't looking to make this like a career or anything but i don't know you s i do see a lot of comments about you know that's i i feel the struggle that you feel about wanting to keep up with journaling and wanting to buy the things, but also not having too much that goes to waste, that just sits there. Um, and yet, haul videos are one of the most popular things to watch. Stationary haul videos. Sometimes I watch them to just get my fix because I'm not shopping. So I like to see just kind of what people spend their money on. But at the same time, um, oh, we'll keep that. Um, because I don't do a lot of those, and my subject matter is a little obscure, I don't get those views. I don't get those shares. I don't get the kind of exposure. Um, my Instagram, you know, took a long time to build up to what it is. My YouTube, certainly a long time to build up to what it is. I don't know what my point is. <laughs> I just want you to know that 
I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed to where how journaling has gotten to be. It's gotten to be a little too elaborate. It's gotten to be really, really focused on all the supplies. I've always journaled with supplies as being part of the fun part. It's the creative things, but I also talk about how often, very often, my journals are just filled with writing. I'm not decorating all the time. I'm not focused on constantly buying stamps because my pages need to be decorated so elaborately but that's kind of how journaling has become and that's cool if you love to journal that way and that's your creative outlet but because there's that mentality when you scroll through instagram and you see it on youtube that people are creating such elaborate spreads that you feel the need to have to do so too and not everyone has the capability to do so not everyone has the time to do so not everyone has the financial backing to do so to have all that supplies to do it and i just want to put it out there that journaling really isn't about all the stuff it's about you it's about a pen and a notebook pencil and a notebook it doesn't have to be a fancy notebook it doesn't have to be a fancy fountain pen and while I do talk about, you know, things that I have and that I've put my money into it, um, and I do, you know, once in a while share, like, the things that I buy, I feel weird contributing to that kind of selling. Does that make sense? I'm trying to make sense for you guys. I, I feel weird selling that kind of stuff to you guys because in a way I'm still you know talking about it I'm I'm talking about how much I love something um and even if it's not intentional it's still intentional in some way I've worked in retail for 10 years so I know sales tactics um if I wanted to I could probably try to do lots of like videos of you know talking about something that I really love just to like get you guys to buy it um but I don't. I don't like doing that. Um, after 10 years of retail, I, which I really hated, um, I, I just don't want to do that. Um, I have no idea <laughs> what I'm saying. All I'm trying to tell you is just how I'm feeling and where I'm at with social media. I'm just kind of getting fed up with it. I'm fed up with the offhanded comments that I get. I don't get a lot, but once in a while I get a I get one and it gets to me and and I think the wrong response is, well, if you put yourself on social media, that's just kind of how it's going to be. That is so wrong. I don't feel like anybody should ever think that. Why does putting yourself out there? Why does having an opinion automatically mean that you deserve negative comments back, that you deserve hate comments or you deserve offhanded rude comments. That should not be how this world works. There's already enough violence. There's already enough hate. There's already enough bad things going on. We should not be spreading any negativity of any sort to anybody because you honestly don't know what they're going through. Um, So there's the growing defensiveness that I'm, I'm finding in myself, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. There have been so many times that I've come to this close to quitting social media because of just what I'm seeing in the pattern of growing. You need to spend money. You need to be a part of this club. Like I said, nobody's outright saying you need to buy this to be cool, but when you're scrolling, it's kind of like doom scrolling, you know, you, you see it build up. Um, but instead of doom scrolling, it's kind of like wishful scrolling where you're following all these accounts that have this very ideal journal set up. And then they have these flat lays of 
flowers and lace and stamps and they've got everything set up and they've got that one perfect journal page and journal spread and that's cool but at the same time very effing annoying do you know what i mean it's like low-level bragging not only about the spread but just like when you're sharing all the hauls um I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for doing this video and, and describing how I'm feeling. Like I said, this is just how I feel. I'm not saying everybody is out there bragging purposely of how beautiful their journals are. I'm bragging of like, look how much I spent my money on. But if you are a part of the journal community and you've been there for a while, you know that, you know how much certain things cost, okay? you know, you can clearly see how much, just even estimating how much somebody has spent. And I don't know. While I love the journal community at the same time, I'm just kind of like over it. I, I feel less and less wanting to, to share because I, I don't feel like I fit in, um, and because stationary minimalism is such a like obscure thing, it's also kind of become something unknown that if I share something outside of my so-called genre, uh, it, I don't get nearly as much interest in those videos. And going back to the whole popularity thing, you know, in the end, I still want good responses to my content. And so when I share something outside of that and I don't get the response that I'm expecting, it discourages me from sharing. And there's only so much I can share with you guys about minimalism with the you know lack of collecting and the lack of hauling that I do on this channel. I you know I don't buy that much. I and when I do, it's just one or two things here and there and um yeah, I'm feeling just like a black sheep in my own community which is so weird and even with that it's like I'm I've got one foot in scrap therapy which is kind of like Heidi Swapish and Allie Edwards ish very pops of color very bright very modern and then I've got my other foot in like traveler's notebooks which is a little bit more on like the vintagey side and ephemera and all that stuff I'm not quite in a community even in like journal forums and that also in itself just kind of adds to how I'm feeling. <sighs> it's, it's a struggle guys. Um, that's another thing. Somebody had made a comment like, oh, we are not you guys because I say that a lot in videos. And that really, for some reason annoyed me. Um, look it up. It is a local colloquialism uh, in the Midwest. It's not meant to be a gender label to anyone. Actually, if you do uh, research, you guys is actually one of the non-gender uh, specific terms that have become very part of the modern language. Scientists and etymologists don't know why, but it's just kind of become unanimously a term to greet or refer to a group of people. So, yo, if you got offended by that, I can't even. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna post this video. <laughs> I've just kind of gone on a deep rant and I, oh, feels like it's a little too honest and people don't like honesty on social media. So, back to December Daily. Here's what I've purged. This is all stuff that I've not touched. Um, these are like Ikea stickers that I probably will just give to my daughter. Some papers I'm just going to discard. Some more stickers that I'm just going to give to my daughter. She's really into stickers right now. Same with this. Um, this is like Ikea Christmas wrapping stuff and they made them into napkins and I thought I was going to decoupage it onto something. I never did that, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Get, get rid of this paper. Tissue paper from like a Christmas purchase a long time ago. I'm just going to get rid of that. 
these are stickers that I kind of threw in. I might just use them up in my regular journal and not my December daily. And some more papers here. I did not discard as much as I wanted to, but that's okay. Um, I don't really have much left. I'm going to use up what I have in my pouch here this year, and then I'm probably going to discard most of it if I don't use it this year, and then start fresh next year. That's my plan. I'll probably do a separate video for that. And then um, last year and the year before, I did a trace paper insert. That's kind of what I did. I made it myself, and then I made it large enough that this actually covered two years, and then I've got a flimsy, very flimsy scrap of paper to use as like a combined cover. I'm debating whether I want to start another trace paper insert to do this year because I've had this junk journal that you see before you for years. I've had it since like 2014 or something and it was part of an exchange. We were to do Christmas junk journals um, and you know we can include stuff if we wanted to. I requested a kind of larger sized one with a lots of tucks and I did change things up because there were certain things that I wasn't really into and then I decided to go in and just kind of alter it myself and it's since then been with me on several moves and I've not used it and it might save me some work if I decide not to do a trace paper, paper insert. It's actually a binder style one with uh, little jingle jangle things that they included on just like a loose little bag of stuff that I turned into hanging charms. The front covers basically everything I've added, like the strip here, the Santa, all the wood embellishments, the paper flowers. So I'm just gonna do a flip. If I have more thoughts on social media, I'll probably add that. Oh wait, there's more stuff in here, hold on. Did not realize. Okay, um, what do I got here? I'm probably gonna chuck that, chuck that. These are homemade cards, I'm gonna save that. Christmas ribbon. Um, I think I've covered all the points that I wanna cover about <laughs> my rant. Uh, originally, it was not intended to be so honest. I just wanted to do my December daily stuff. But it's been just kind of building up, and because I struggle with whether to just quit social media altogether, it's... I just want you to know that if I go maybe more than six months without posting, three months without posting, without like some sort of disclaimer out there, reason why I've dropped off the face of the earth, uh, it's probably most likely that I've just decided to just give it all up. Um, YouTube, Instagram, just live my life, do my own thing. It's it's a weird animal, you know, constantly feeling in the back of your mind, like, oh, I should share this. Oh, I should share this. This is old packaging from a Christmas thing that I bought and I just cut it out because it's beautiful. I decided to turn that into a little tuck spot. So I hope you guys can see. I guess a side note on social media, um, not social media, but like stationery in general. I mean, it's not a sustainable hobby. No one ever talks about that. You know, we talk about like plastic free, reuse, reduce. Um, you, you can reduce in journaling, um, but I think just if you want to keep up with the Joneses, if you want to buy the, the beautiful stickers and the, all that stuff, I mean, target dollar spot, you know? I mean, I'm not saying I'm a saint. I am ne not, not at all. <laughs> I, I'm not perfect, but I'm just putting it out there as like, this is just another thought as, um, you know, it's, that stuff that you're buying at the dollar spot to target, the stuff that you're buying online that's shipping from Asia. It's, you know, it's not made locally. It's not, some of the stuff, yes, it is handmade and really, really handmade well and it's craftsmanship and all that, but a lot of it, a majority of it is, you know, they're coming from factories where people are paid 
not a lot of money and they're working 14, 15, 16 hours a day. They're probably young. They don't see their families because they have to pay the bills. Um, you know, you know the whole story about factories and where our things are coming from. So there's that. And it, that, you know, does, I do think about that too. But like I said, I'm not perfect, so <laughs> don't, <laughs> please don't make comments about <laughs> me not practicing what I'm preaching. Um, this person did a really great job with um, a lot of the things. Like, I love the printables of, like, this, the old toy ads. The person delivered on a lot of the tuck spots. I added a lot of Christmas cards that I wanted to keep throughout the years into this already, it looks like. Um, there's like some from my grandma, which is really cool. This is from the National Geographic's cutout with winter scene. It's just pretty. So I had to paper clip that in. Um, I only buy Toblerone at Christmas time. I don't know why. I don't buy it any time ever outside of just the Christmas season. And I just buy the little one and that'll just last me the whole month. And that's why that's there. Decided to just stick it in there, I guess. Um, yeah, so lots of, that's fun. I'm glad I kept some of these cards. That's another card, that's a card from my grandma from years past. Lots of tucks, lots of things to add, and another Christmas card from a friend. So this is a junk journal flip of something I don't believe I've ever shared on my channel in all the years that I've been on here. But I wanted to show you just kind of the possibilities of what I might be moving into for Christmas journaling. And I think I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover in terms of my rant. I'm sorry if this is a bummer. I did not mean for it to be a bummer. I'm just trying to be honest with you guys and give you, I guess, a reason why of, you know, if I do drop out, that's how I'm feeling. And I'm not trying to look at it as a negative thing altogether. No, it's not. It's many parts of it and many aspects of the journal community are great. When I was trying to find something, so many of you guys messaged me personally and offered to help me to find it. Even if it was across country and overseas, you guys offered to help me. Um, a, a friend reached out and helped me find some very hard, uh, hard to find pencils, the original black wings. Um, she was, she heard it on my podcast and she heard that I was still looking for them and that it's impossible to find them for a reasonable price. And she helped me find them. I mean, that's how great the community can be. It's a, it's a, that is the sense of community that I wish there was a little bit more of, but not necessarily the focus on constant buying constant collecting, constant complexity of breaking down journaling and planners and things. It's a lot of things. Um, if you have listened all the way through to the end of this video and you kind of feel how I'm feeling, I don't know. I If there's anything that you can take away from this is just know that please do not feel like you need to keep up with somebody. Please journal for yourself. I don't feel like anybody should focus on, I don't have a style of journaling. I don't have the aesthetic. Um, Cause I get comments like that a lot. Oh, I, I'm still not, I'm still trying to find my style. I haven't found my style yet. It, you don't need to have a style. You should just journal for you. Stick stickers onto paper, however you want. Color it, paint it, do whatever. You do not need to have a quote unquote style. I think that's just kind of where I'm getting at. It's just become this label, this little box that you have to fit into in order to fit in. You don't, you don't need to fit in at all. I guess I need to tell myself that too. It's hard though. It really is when you're kind of out there sharing. Okay, 
I have spoken enough. I have tried to articulate how I feel as much as I can. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you have to the end, you are awesome. You're wonderful. If you're new here, I must sound like a complete loon, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm normal in some ways. All right. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope you're enjoying time with your families and thank you.